Hi, I'm Sky. I'm currently studying a master's in clinical neuroscience at UCL and I live at Langton Close, so let's go see my flat. So I live in a one bedroom flat with my partner and my guide dog, Derek, who you're about to meet. Um, I'm blind, so having him has been really, really nice. I actually got matched with him in November, so I've only had him for a few months now. This is Derek. <laughs> so through here, um, we have this great hallway, which has two big double wardrobes. Great um, with, a with a partner. Um, and this is the bathroom. The team here have actually been really good and supportive with any changes that I've needed um, throughout my time here to make it more accessible, such as new brighter lighting, because with my vision, I need as much light as possible, really. Um, so yeah, we have a little living area and a basket with lots of Derek's toys. And the kitchen area. Yeah, the team, for example, they've even let me um, put up a vacuum because with Derek, he sheds a lot. So that sort of helps them out, helps me out. I can keep it nice and clean. If you follow me through, we'll go have a look at the bedroom. Um, something that really surprised me about this flat was how many hooks there are to put things, which is really handy, especially with all of Derek's equipment. Uh, so yeah, this is the bedroom. Uh, we have two nice desks, which is good with a couple have our own space and we're not right on top of each other in Derek's bed <laughs> and then our view really nice goes into the courtyard and you can see Francis Gardner which is the accommodation opposite us the other good thing is there are quite a lot of pin boards in this flat so you can really make it feel like your own space okay so now I'm going to show you the common areas which are actually shared with Langton Close and Francis Gardner so this is a really nice, quiet study space that I've come down to quite a few times just to get some work done and it's a nice change of scene from the flat. This is the more social space uh, where quite a lot of people come and play games of pool, and hang out. And through here is a computer room with a lot of different computers and printing facilities. So yes, this is the laundry room. Uh, something really cool actually is that the accommodation team put Braille on this washer and dryer. So me or anyone else who uses Braille can access the laundry facilities. So the accommodation team, once I got Derek, also put up these signs around the accommodation so that other students and visitors know about guide dogs and about not distracting them and things like that, which is really, really nice. Uh, so now I'm going to take you out into the courtyard and show you Derek's uh, spending area, which is really, really nice because the accommodation team put that in for us before we even knew that I was getting Derek's. So yeah, this is Derek's pen. Um, it's really nice because he has some privacy and comfort and they even put in a shelter and bench for me so I don't get drenched. Um, yeah, and there's a really nice bin, which sounds silly, but it's really, really nice. I don't have to wander off of sight. Behind me is St Andrew's Gardens, which is just at the end of the road from Langton Close. It's a nice green space that people come and sit and have lunch. Um, there are also a lot of cafes nearby. There's a Costa just at the end of the road and a Fortitude Bakehouse, which is really, really nice. And my campus, Queen Square, is just a 15 minute walk away. So it's really, really convenient. So that was a little bit of what it's like living at Langton Close. I just want to let anyone know who is disabled and thinking about applying to UCL or UCL accommodation to not worry because the staff here are really amazing and they've really gone above and beyond to help me and help Derek and make sure we're as comfortable as possible here and facing as few barriers as possible because obviously being a disabled student is hard and 
little things like lighting and accommodation and space just shouldn't be an extra issue while you're studying so yeah don't worry I've had a brilliant time and yeah it's brilliant here. Yeah.